Hey guys, John from Lawrence and welcome back to another episode. As you can see, we are on the beautiful Albert Falls Dam and today I want to talk to you about Genesis Live. So for the guys that are fishing private dams or areas we've never been before, you don't know what the structure looks like underneath you, you don't know how deep it is, you know, you want to see where the drop-offs are and all that kind of thing. You spend a couple of hours on the dam an area that you want to work, all you have to do is pop in a blank 32 SD card inside your finder, go to overlay and then select Genesis Live. You'll see in the middle of the screen it will pop up now. I've done some recordings, so now I'm just going to continue driving in a straight line so you guys can see exactly how it records. I'm doing absolutely nothing. All I did was click on the overlay and select the Genesis Live and now I just drive slowly. Now guys what you must remember is you need to drive slow. The faster you go the less accurate your chart's going to be so the slower you go constant speed without the transducer getting too much interference you're going to get the best possible picture so i'm just going to show you guys exactly on how we do this now i'm currently running a map on my front unit on the bow and it's shared via ethernet to this unit and then i put the blank sd card inside my hds 10 pro and i'm running the genesis live off that so i'm actually overlaying the genesis live onto the chart in front uh, on the machine but not actually putting this data onto the card because it's in a different unit. So as you will see now I'll, I'll drive a bit up and then I'll turn around. So all you need to do when you want to fish the area that you, that you plan on fishing, all you have to do is spend a couple of minutes to drive up and down the area that you want to fish, build this map. See I've got some waypoints on the right hand side here now so I'm going to go through them quickly just to see what the map looks like there. See if I can go through here. Just to give you guys an idea of exactly how it draws. And the more you drive over the spot, the more the map will update itself and then you'll have the most accurate map based off your actual sonar readings. So yeah guys, so as you can see, now you will be driving up and down and you'll see that there's a gap in between. There might be a gap where you missed and you can just the next time you go to the same water just work over those areas and then eventually you'll fill in the whole map. But one very very important thing that I want to speak to you guys about is your safety of your maps. If you have any maps, um, whether it's a sea map or an avionics or any aftermarket maps, please do not copy any waypoints or any files onto those cards. They are, have a copyright infringement on them. If you copy your waypoints or Genesis Live or anything onto those cards, you have a possibility of destroying that card. And now, whatever you paid for that chart, if you have a fishing chart that costs five, seven thousand Rand, or a Navionics chart that costs, you know, anything between three and a half to five and a half thousand Rand, if you copy anything onto that map that's not supposed to be there, you will destroy your map and you will have to buy a brand new map. We cannot retrieve the information unfortunately, so please guys, never ever ever copy anything onto your mapping charts. Always carry a blank SD card. And for you guys that want to run two and you're not sure which slot to put it in, the default slot for Genesis Live is slot number one. So if you look, you'll have two, two card slots it will always select channel 1 by default to use that card to do the inside genesis. So if you have any other mapping card like an avionics or a C-map, pop that into your second card slot and then put your blank card slot into slot number 1 because by default it will always copy onto chart number 1. Guys, that's it from me. Thank you very much. Remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video.